Welcome to our video where we're just going to show you how to use the experts log um, which gives you a nice running commentary of uh, what the EA has been doing and any issues with the EA. So this is available in the terminal frame which in MetaTrader 5 is called Toolbox. And then you've got this experts tab here which is before the journal and that contains any log messages coming from our EA running on the chart. And it's really useful. So, for example, say if the EA has stopped working. So you can see here, this is nice and healthy. We've got a nice rotation here next to the version number. So that means it's running successfully. But if there's a problem, then what you can do is to go to the experts log. So if you right click in this tab here, then this menu comes up. And if you click open, you can actually see the log files and they use the date. Uh, in the name. So if there's anything you're struggling with and you can't work it out yourself, you could send us this log file. So you could just attach it to an email and just make sure that you send us the one with the date. So you can see the year, the month and the day is in there. So send us one with the date where you actually had the issue and then we can actually look through that and interpret what went wrong. So, for example, if the EA has stopped working, perhaps there's like an error, like divide by zero or index out of bounds, it will say that in the experts log and it'll even give us the line number in the source code and we can fix it really, really quickly if there's an issue. Uh, and the expert log also says if there's uh, any reasons why it's either traded unexpectedly or not traded, there'll be a nice human readable commentary there of uh, you know what actually happened. Um, what we log, for instance, is changes in the status text. So we've got the EA running on the chart, and at the, re at the moment it's not signaling a sell trade because there's no there's an indicator called TDI that's not uh, saying sell, and we've got an, another indicator, awesome oscillator, that's not saying for sell. So it's just showing you why it's not signaling for sell, and those changes in that status text get logged. So it is a nice running commentary. Also, if you, if you want to look at the log yourself, a nice way of doing that is, again, if you right click that menu option, there's this view. And that will show you that experts log. And you can see it is reasonably human re readable. You know, it was we were waiting on this TDI and suddenly, you know, it, it, we've got a signal and it'll say open. The stale old just means it's not a fresh signal. So it's already signaled earlier on. And again, just any issues will always get logged. If there's a problem opening the trade or closing the trade, that will get logged with guidance on why there was an issue. And the other thing you can do is to search the log. There's this search bar up at the top there. So if you wanted to just limit the entries for your OUSD, you could just put in part of the search string. So you could limit it. If you put RWS, that's our will identify our EA if you've got at the Runwise FX version and then just Euro USD. So just anything from that search string that you want to search for. And then you can put a date range in as well. Just remember the dates are in local time. Okay, so you can do a request and then it just filters then. So if you have multiple charts open and you just wanted to look for the entries, and you can, if you see something you don't understand and you want to send it to us, then instead of sending the old log, what you can do is like highlight a section, right click, copy, and then you could paste that into an email. So it's just a really nice way of uh, visualizing uh, any issues. And just remember the time is in local time. So if you've had an issue on your chart, say your broker is two hours ahead of local time, you just need to do that little bit of maths just to knock off a couple of hours when you look into the log. So hopefully that gives you guidance on how to use the experts log. The journal, uh, it's worth mentioning that, that tends to talk about the interactions with the broker. So logging into the broker, but sometimes it can give you a little bit of in more information if there's actually an error from the broker like uh, trading disabled or something like that, the journal might actually give you a little bit more information what the broker's not happy about. So sometimes the journal can be helpful and that's got the same sort of open uh, as well. But most of the useful stuff is in the experts log because this is coming directly from our EA running on the chart. Okay, I hope that the video was helpful. If you've got any questions, please email us at support at runwisefx.com.